Hi everyone, Dr. Haley here from Mount Eliza Family Chiropractic. Today's video, I'm going to discuss the relationship between pain medication and muscle soreness and how taking pain medication post-workout may not actually be helping you recover. Let's look at some research. So we know inflammation causes pain, but did you know that it also is the first step towards healing? So after working hard in the gym or at sports training, sometimes it's inevitable that you will wind up sore. It might have been a while since you've gone for a long run, or it's the first day of winter and you're back snowboarding and those muscles are feeling a bit tender and sore the next day. Whatever it is, you may be inclined to reach for some pain relief. For example, ibuprofen, you know, Panadol, Nurofen, that type of thing. It seems to make sense, right? You've worked out your ligaments and bones, and now they're sore and tired. Um, and there's bound to be some inflammation there. So why not stop that inflammation with an anti-inflammatory medication? But for general muscle soreness post-physical activity, especially if you want the best recovery, then taking anti-inflammatory drugs for pain is not the best option for you. Like I said before, inflammation causes pain, but inflammation is also the first step towards healing. Heavy exercise creates tiny tears in the muscle fibers. So this triggers an immune response that involves inflammation and soreness. So pain medication may disrupt the natural recovery process by suppressing the inflammatory reaction essential for healing. If we continue to discuss this, the most common treatment for lower back pain is to take paracetamol. However, a recent review states there is high quality evidence that is not all that effective. So in 2015, researchers from the George Institute for Global Health Sydney completed a review of data collected, which was only from trials, to investigate how effective paracetamol is in the management of spinal pain and osteoarthritis of the hip or knee. The results revealed there is a high quality evidence that paracetamol is not effective short-term solution in reducing the pain intensity due to lower back pain. The long-term effect of using it in the treatment process is still unknown. So what are the options you have? In 2017, clinical practice guidelines from the American College of Physicians recommends different treatment methods that are more natural for the human body such as superficial heat, so a heat pack or a hot water bottle, massage as well, acupuncture, yoga, tai chi, spinal adjustments, and chiropractic. The outcomes from using these treatments included reduced or eliminated back pain, improvements in overall function of the body, and improvements in quality of life. Also, the ability to return to work um, was quicker and reduced episodes of back pain. Lower back pain and general muscle soreness affects a large number of people throughout the population. With pain medication being proven as an ineffective source of treatment for pain management, that's a big reason to look into alternative treatments to find out what else may help you. Discuss with your chiropractor your next visit on treatment post-workout to help prevent muscle soreness. There are many different options out there that are more effective and healthier for your body for recovery.